right now I want to introduce you to one of the attendees of the conference. Welcome, this is Juan Carlos Nieblas. He is a professor at the Universidad del Norte in Colombia. Welcome to the Seattle area. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. I know that you've been to the Faculty Summit one other time. What is your favorite part about coming here? Well, I mean, this is a great space for researchers to get together, and especially if I, I feel uh, I get to hear from research from other computer science areas that are different to what I do daily. So I feel that's a great uh, space for hearing about those topics. But also I feel it's a great space for networking and getting to uh, talk to new people and uh, create new collaborations. Absolutely. Um, one of, what is your area of research? I know it has to do with vision. That's correct, what I do is computer vision. So uh, let me give you an example. If you go on vacation and you take a lot of pictures, right? And then you come to your house and show the pictures to your family. And they look at your pictures uh, and their eyes and their brain can interpret everything that is on the pictures. They can understand objects, scenes, activities that people were doing in the images. Uh, so what computer vision does is try to uh, create computer algorithms that can uh, look at pictures and images and uh, videos and understand what's going on in the images and videos and what objects and scenes are present there. Getting smarter about that, huh? Yeah, trying to. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much and good luck. Have fun at this conference. Thank you so much. And we also have a guy who Juan Carlos just met and who's here at the Faculty Summit for the first time. Welcome, Augustin Gravano. You're from Buenos Aires. Welcome. Right. Thank you very much. And you have not been to the Faculty Summit before. No, no. This is my first time. Yeah. Wow. And what do you think? I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's a great opportunity for networking, for knowing other people uh, working on this field, and also know what the new challenges are in this field. And you got a chance to hear Bill Gates, which not everybody does at the right. Faculty mm -hmm. Summit. Did you enjoy his speech? Very much, yeah. He's an inspiration, basically, yeah. He has a very broad view of the area so that we can all learn from um, his um, way of viewing the world and know what the new challenges are. And your area of research has to do with computers that talk. Right, yeah, <laughs> speech processing is my area. And my, my current um, research goal is trying to improve the naturalness of computers because they all, we all know that they all, they sound, computers sound very unnatural, very uh, artificial. And we're trying to improve that, to improve the coordination in the way they talk to people. And this is computers that talk to us like even on the phone, like those automated uh, voicemails that you sometimes get or when you call something and they go, press number eight to go to department X. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah the, the second one you mentioned, yeah. These are systems that you can use over the phone, for, exa over the phone, for example. Uh, this is automated customer service. Uh, we're trying to improve that. We know everybody hates them, so yeah. we're trying to improve them. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. It would be nice if they could understand. I'm so frustrated talking to you right now. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. That's what we're looking for, yeah. All right. All right. Do you have a shout out to your friends in Argentina or in, Col and, uh, in Colombia and in, in Argentina? In Argentina, right. Yeah. yeah. You have a lot of uh, people who are probably watching on this webcast right okay, now. Okay, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I, I told them about it. So, hi. Over there, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much well, and have a good much. time.